I would just like everybody to note that I made my bed for the sake of this video. You're welcome. Today I'm gonna be doing just kind of a get ready with me video work edition. Um, I don't really do full glam anymore for work. Usually I would always do uh, false eyelashes and whatever, but I've recently just been sticking to my regular eyelashes, just some eyebrows, contour, all that jazz. It's gonna be kind of like a chit chat, get ready with me type video. If you hear background noise, I'm watching Beverly Hills 90210 again. Hope you guys enjoy. And we're just gonna get onto the video. So I got back from the gym and I washed my face with the Arbon RE9 Advanced Smoothing Facial Cleanser. I just recently purchased this and as you guys know, I do sell Arbon. Um, I have some of their makeup products. I love their nutrition products, um, but I just tried their skincare products and honestly, it's like a lot better than what I was using. And now I'm just going to spray my face with the um, regenerating toner from the same skincare line from Arbonne. What well, next thing I like to do is this <laughs> looks a little, you know, worn out, but I'm taking my MAC uh, Fix Plus Gold. I just have a tiny little bit left. And I'm just going to spray this all over my face as well. Now, since I've been doing self tanning, excuse my hands, like, ugh. I think everybody's hands is probably the worst part whenever they do self tanning. Um, I'm going to take a darker foundation and this is the Maybelline um, Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. This is probably one of the best drugstore foundations. It's a little mess. I'm gonna squirt a little bit. I hate that word. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hands. I hope this works, honestly. Like I hope this is the right shade because, oh God. I purposely did not do my face, like did not put self tanner on my face because I um, knew I was going to put foundation on and I'd look even crazier if I did um, self tanner on. Can y'all hear Gadsby? He's just meowing away like I'm not trying to film a video or anything. So then I'm just gonna take whatever's left on here. Ooh, that looks pretty light too. Whoops. Well, hmm. And I'm just going to take the rest of it. Maybe it's not too bad. So. Do, do, do. So did you guys see the trailer for the new Ted Bundy movie? I'm actually really excited for it. So it's really weird. I don't like anything with gore. And it's 2019. I'm sure this movie is gonna be like super gory. Maybe not super, but I'm sure it's gonna be gory. Like there's no way around that. He was a serial killer. Um, but as you guys know, if you saw my 50 random facts, which I probably deleted, so I need to make like a new get to know me type video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments because like I'll totally do one. Anyways. I don't even know if I have enough subscribers for that, but the ones that I do have, y'all. But any, but yeah, so I have been actually waiting for this movie for so long, but if you guys, like I said, if you guys watch that video or if you just know me, I love the ID channel and I freak myself out because I'll watch it so much. And, um... So I've been really excited about this movie ever since I first heard that Zac Efron was going to be playing. Like, I mean, hello, first of all. And, but on Twitter, I've been seeing a lot of people complaining that they're romanticizing him and how it's going to be horrible for the victims and all this stuff. But honestly, if you guys don't know the story of Ted Bundy, like, personally, I don't think he was a very attractive man. He wasn't ugly, but, you know, they... He was attractive compared to other serial killers that you see. And there was like no, like nobody knew. Nobody had any idea. There was no sign, nothing. Like there's some people that I know that I'm like, ooh, I could see you on the news one day. But like he was not like that at all. He was very charming. That's how he was able to lure his victims. And so 
if you knew that, if you researched that, if you watch any documentary, like even me, when I first learned about him, they told me that like that's how they described him was that he was very attractive. He lured his victims because he knew how to manipulate them and use his looks for that. Like, so as far as romanticizing him, the movie is not doing anything wrong. Like Hollywood did not do something wrong with that. Like they're doing exactly how he was like what he was. They're depicting him the exact same way as he was in real life. So I'm like just, I don't know why I'm so pressed about other people's opinions about it. It's just, it seems more uneducated, if that makes sense. Still to each their own. If you think that way, that's fine. That's your own opinion. I'm just telling you that that's, they're not doing anything wrong by depicting him that way. It was actually a good match. Um, if you guys, so I'm, uh, so I'm just making sure that I get it all the way down my neck so that I don't look crazy. Oh, my hand, look at that. Oh, that looks so bad. But it's fine, whatever, my face matches the rest. So we're good, okay? Next, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer. This is in ivory so i'm pretty sure this might be the lightest one probably i really like my concealer being a lot lighter than my foundation for the highlight highlight honey so i want to talk to you guys real quick also about arbonne um so like i mentioned with the skincare line i Started using it and I do sell for Arbonne. Really love the products. The products are awesome. However, as far as getting far in the company, I feel like you have a better chance and I'm being completely honest with you guys because it's been hard for me to sell um, and to get up to that point. Like I qualified for district manager but then it's just like plateaued since then because in order to succeed in the business you have to be persistent pretty much and they say pleasantly persistent but it's like i'm not the type of person to really annoy someone with like the company you know what i mean like do you know what i'm trying to say i'm not the type of person to like harass somebody and so for me, it's like a lot harder. And um, I've just decided like, I'll tell people about the products, like I'll use the products and I'll still like post about it and whatever, cause I love them, that I'm not lying about that. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to push someone into buying these products, especially if they haven't tried them before. And they wanna like, especially the kits and stuff, I don't want to push somebody to buy. I mean, granted, Arbonne does have a 45 back, 45 day money back guarantee, but I don't want to push someone to sit there and buy this kit, this $300 kit, if they're not, you know, they've never tried the products before. I did the 30 day challenge. I lost mm, maybe three pounds. Maybe I didn't do it right. I don't know. Maybe I, I didn't like follow it correctly. There were some days that I did have cheat days, so you can't really go off of that. So, but I don't know. It's just, it's different. It's a lot different. And I love social media. I'm good at posting on social media and it is sent, um, network marketing and everything, but I feel like you have a better chance if you have a bigger following, which I do not have. So that's my take on that. Um, I love the products, like I said. I will happily tell people about them if they want to know more about them. I'll happily post about it. Um, but as far as like if somebody gives me a no, I'm not gonna harass them. Like they'll come to me on their own if they want to actually try the products. I'm not gonna harass them. Um, so if you wanna buy products, 
You can buy them from me now. <laughs> I'll link my store in the description. To set my face, I decided this doesn't even have a label on it anymore. This is the banana powder from Re Makeup Revolution. It's gonna use the same sponge that I used to blend in my concealer. And I'm just gonna pat this underneath. And we gonna bake today. We gonna bake the night, the day away. That wasn't funny. I don't know why I try. I never know what to talk about if I'm doing like a... I've tried to film these before and I just run out of things to talk about. Like there's just nothing. So now I'm gonna just take this little bitty um, sponge and I'm gonna dip it in. I use this powder thing because I don't, you know, I'm too cheap to buy regular little things that I can put my powders in. But this is the Air Spun Loose Face Powder, and it's also mixed with my RCMA Makeup Setting Powder. So, like, your girl's kind of all over the place. I'm just going to kind of set my eyelids like this, because I'm not doing any eye makeup. Now, while all that is, like whatever i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my eyebrows i'm not gonna be talking for this part because it's really irritating sometimes to do my eyebrows but i'll let you guys know what i use so this is the anastasia dip brow pomade in dark brown really love this stuff i used to have the kat von d one but it dried up really quickly and i was like mm, not a fan clean it up i'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that these are done, that took me less time than normal. I'm just going to brush them out with the Morphe Brow Setting Gel. <laughs> Don't know why I couldn't think of that. It's like kind of common sense, Kristen. Okay. So now that those are done, um, I'm gonna go ahead and brush off the powder. Do you know what I mean? I just like do not know what to talk about like at all. Like where are you guys from? Leave a comment down below. I'd like to see that. All you guys know I'm from Dallas. I'd like to know where you guys are from. Dallas, Texas, baby. This is kind of maybe controversial. I don't know. Um, but I really like her contour kit, so I'm gonna use my trusty Shade and Light palette, the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I ordered two more, one of these and one of these, and they're just sitting in my drawer until these ones, like, actually go out. And I'm just taking, um, the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill, or Morphe, do people say, okay, is it Morphe times Jaclyn Hill? Because people sometimes say that. I just say Morphe or Jaclyn Hill by Morphe or something like that. Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I don't know. It's her brush kit is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is the JH02 brush. I'm take this shade right here, which is Shadow Play. And I'm like bouncing when I do this. The show's getting so dramatic, guys. I'm like, I'm acting like I've never seen it before. Maybe I'll use this as kind of a get to know me type thing. So like, I just got this idea right now so I don't have to do another like boring 50 random facts video for the fifth time. So I am, let's see. My favorite TV show, since we're talking about TV shows cause I'm watching one of them. I have multiple. I don't just have one favorite TV show of all time. I like um, old video, old movies, old uh, or old TV shows. I used to watch the Logos channel when I had cable at my parents' house, and I would watch Laverne and Shirley, Alice, Golden Girls, um, all of that stuff. I love that stuff. Bewitched. Stuff's my fave. Um, and as well as like 90s shows too, uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Friends, um, which those both went well into like the 2000s, um, nine, Beverly Hills 90210, not a fan of the new one, I tried to get into it, 
But my favorite TV shows are Beverly Hills 90210. Obviously, I'm watching it. Um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Gossip Girl, Gilmore Girls. I love Gilmore Girls. I rewatch that like every single year. And then of course, like reality television. I love Vanderpump Rules, The Kardashians, uh, Jersey Shore, all of that. Next, I'm going to be taking this um, air sponge. Again, it's mixed with the um, RCMA powder. I'm going to take the Morphe E16 brush and just dip that in there. And I'm gonna go from, so my piercing right here kind of helps me. And I'm just gonna like take the line like this. This is to carve out the contour. And I like to bring it down here just to kind of set this whole area right here. I'm just gonna keep that there. And this is where I do my mascara. And I'm going to take, I take three total mascaras. This is the um, Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara, which I usually use their foundation and concealer. And so I got this with a, for a free gift from them. To my eyelashes. Sarah is like so bomb. Oh my goodness. Like, do you see? I should have showed y'all like difference, but. So the next one I'm going to take is the um, Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I like the bottle. It's kind of pretty. Same with this. I'm taking the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I really love this mascara. It's very like volumizing. Can you hear Gatsby? And I'm just gonna do the same. I've been really feeling my natural lashes recently. So now I'm taking, I didn't even tell you guys what I used to wipe off the powder. I'm taking the Jaclyn Hill, it's a JH01 brush from Morphe. They just opened up a Morphe in Dallas and like by just, I mean, I don't even know when, maybe like a year ago, I'm not even sure. Or maybe it was this year. I have no idea, but I went and, oh my Lanta, you guys. There's actually two of them. There's one at North Park and there's one in the Galleria if you guys are local and you want to go check them out. I think there's one in Houston also at the Galleria. I don't know if there's multiple down there though. I know that last time I was down there they were creating one so I think it's there because Jeffree Star was there. Well, um, Usually I'll either do a white liner or this one is the NYX um, metallic eyeliner in rose gold. I really like it. It looks like this. I don't know if it's even gonna focus. I'm just going to take this and put it right under. Sorry if that's weird for you guys, if you're triggered by this. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Estee Lauder uh, mascara again, and I'm just going to put that on my lower lashes. Excuse my ugly face when I do this. I look awake now. And I just like to kind of run my fingers underneath it like this. Or I have a little spoolie that I can't find at the moment. So we're just going to have to use the brow one that I have. Just to keep it, just to keep it from getting on my face because that, there's nothing more annoying than that. Or when you sneeze after putting on your out, girl. So there's that. So now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray and I'm just going to spray this on my face. 
This is not, <clears throat> I know better than to talk right after I do this. This is not the best smelling stuff ever, but it works pretty well. I like the Milani one also. Plus is my fave, but I try not to use a bunch of this. I use it for priming because there's not a lot left. And these are expensive, dude, like $26. Like, honey, that's like a tank of gas for me. So next, I have been kind of steering away from blush because I just really like the natural, natural, but you know what I mean. Um, look, I don't like a lot of blush and whatever. So, um, I'm going to pop, I'm going to go straight to highlight and pop a little of the Kylie Jenner highlighter in Santorini. Yeah. This is just a loose highlighter and I absolutely love it. So that this is the color. This is my face. I'm just taking the Morphe M510 and dipping that sucker in there. I'm kind of like getting it off of the brush because it'll be real cray. Can you guys see that? <gasps> Ugh. Like this is how, like without me doing that. Ugh, honey, honey. Also taking this fan brush from Eco Tools and I just like blend it out even more. So it doesn't look too too crazy, but you know, you can never have too much highlighter. Let's put it right here. And on my forehead, because my forehead's what needs a little hell. Just kidding. That's a lot, Kristen. I know I just said that I can't have, you can never have too much highlighter, but like, honey, that's a lot. We're gonna be glowing, like my personality. Buffing it out, kind of, making it not as cray cray. And then I'm taking the Morphe M330 brush and I'm dipping it in there and I'm gonna put it right here, right under my brow. I just love this highlighter. Like it's probably my fave. Honestly, it's probably my favorite highlighter out of all time. I will be doing a January favorites video. I don't even know if people do that anymore, but I am doing that. Voila. So I'm actually going to try something that I've not tried before, but I thought about trying, you know? <laughs> okay, so this could be really, really good or this could be really bad. I'm going to use the Kylie Jenner Malibu lip line and I'm going to use the Kylie Jenner Libra lipstick because I ran out of the lip liner for this but I kind of want to have like a darker liner in this but sometimes some people pull it off really well Jordan Lipscomb and some people don't which could be me so we're just gonna try Okay, not bad. Let's pot this sucker on. Hmm, I like, actually. Okay, honey, I like. I don't know if I want to leave it like this or actually put on lip gloss. It's been 45 minutes. It takes me, now I know that it takes me 45 minutes to do this entire look. A lot less whenever I do my eyebrows. I'm just going to straighten my hair. I'm not even going to record that because everybody knows how to straighten hair. Um, so I'm just gonna do that and then, 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one let me know if you like these types of videos also i say that at the end of every video but like i want to i don't want to put out content that you guys don't like so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end this video and i hope you guys have a wonderful fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys